My best friend 21F private messaged my 21F boyfriend 27M? Too long did not read. After I tagged my boyfriend on IG, my best friend private messaged him. I found out and confronted her and she said that she messaged him to test if he would be faithful to me when the time comes. I'm not sure what to believe. So my best friend and I, both 21F, had been single for a while before about a year ago, my boyfriend and I met and he asked for my number. At first I hadn't entertained him because he is super attractive and I thought it was a dare or a joke, trauma from high school, but he stuck it through and proved that he actually liked me. When we made it official, I texted my best friend and told her that I found a boyfriend and stuff and she was excited for me. She asked for his picture but I felt that the relationship was too new and volatile so I didn't send her the picture and I told her that I wasn't ready. She was fine with that but she made a joke that he was probably ugly. I didn't really respond to it and we didn't touch that issue again. Fast forward like two months when I felt that we were more secure in the relationship, we took pictures while on a date and I posted it on IG and tagged my BF. Obviously my best friend saw it and she messaged me saying basically where did I find such an attractive guy, did he have a brother etc. It was just joke so I laughed it off. Looking back she said another thing that I hadn't really paid attention to which was basically I'm lucky that such an attractive guy chose to go for me. It was weird but on brand for our jokes so I didn't follow it up. Yesterday, I was over my BF's house and I was texting my best friend on IG. You know that on IG the username comes up big at the top of the chat so my boyfriend looked over and saw it and basically says was like who is that? Let's call my best friend, Sophie. I was like that Sophie. Now my boyfriend seemed pretty shocked and I was like what's wrong, and he pulled out his phone and pulled up his IG and I realized that he and Sophie had a message thread. I thought that was weird. Anyway after reading though the message thread, I realized that after I tagged my BF, Sophie messaged him like she wanted to be friends, without mentioning me, and started coming on to him. He told her that he had a girlfriend and she implied that she ALR knew and saw the photo and that she was much more attractive than me. My boyfriend didn't engage her in conversation after that. I was feeling super betrayed so I texted her and asked why did she message my boyfriend on IG. She said that she messaged him to test if he would be faithful to me when the time comes. I'm not sure what to believe. If she was testing him, she should have shared this information with you. Of course, she was being shady. She's lying. Cut her loose. Keep the guy. He's been honest and stood up for your relationship even when you weren't aware. Green flag for him. Lose the friend though. That is no friend. She's lying. She wanted him. He's honest with you. You should in your friendship with her. Betrayal. Let's make the argument that your BFF wanted to test your boyfriend's loyalty. Surely, she would want to have you in on it so that you can watch what he does in real time. What Sophie did was try to play both of you against each other. If your boyfriend had shown interest, she could have followed up with him, and then later pointed it out to show that he was disloyal in case she didn't get what she wanted from you. This was a pretty disgusting trick on her part. She is a now officially a relationship wrecker and you should take that into account. You believe the person who was honest with you from the start. My, 36 male, girlfriend, 33 female, leaves me at home and tells me I don't want to go. Title sums it up but in two years I've met maybe three of her friends. I went to one gathering with her and that's it. She goes to concerts with various fried groups I've only met while dropping her off. She attends different local shows and events with groups of people I've never met comes home at all hours of the night, morning and is routinely unavailable for calls or texts. Some of these people she's had varying levels of hookups. When we started dating she went to a funeral and ended up in the back seat of a car with this friend who's known to take advantage of his female drunk friends but it was early on in dating and he had been the guy giving her attention before we ever met. Definitely didn't feel threatened by him. Anyhow, she told me last night she's going to a guy's birthday party then back to a hotel with a smaller group for drinks. She tells me I wasn't invited because I wouldn't want to go and wouldn't hang out with these people anyways. On a side note she frequently talks crap about me to everybody she can including my friends, her parents, my family and my friends. I'm an idiot to only be mildly irritated by this right? I don't get super jealous but I've got to be stupid for letting this continue and being part of it right. Somehow she always makes me out to be the bad guy or antisocial when I crave interaction. I get in trouble if I talk to friends, male or female history or not. People can hook up and be friendly down the line, at least I can, 
but the fact that I'm never invited anywhere ever and how she speaks of me makes me feel like I'm a captive and not a partner. I know it's kind of fucked up sounding but I'm not super wanting to do all these events all the time but it would be cool to know she wanted me with her there instead of wanted me to stay at home. She can't have you there silly. You will be cock blocking your girlfriend. You're an idiot for wasting your life on a woman who is using you for somewhere to live and share the bills and who obviously doesn't love or respect you. Aren't you a very compliant boyfriend? Mommy doesn't want to be looking after you while she is out smashing. Now be a good boy and put on some Star Trek and have a good night. Dot. Dude. Don't be this guy. Get away from her. You know what you need to do. Don't disrespect yourself king. I'm an idiot to only be mildly irritated by this right. Yes. Boyfriend M24 angry at me F27 for accidentally getting pregnant. I need advice on what to do. TLDR. Found out I was pregnant F27 after being sick a couple of mornings in a row. Took a test. Told my boyfriend M24 and now he's acting like it's my fault. Hey guys, on Monday I decided to take a pregnancy test after I was sick two days in a row. The test was positive, and the worst part is I wasn't shocked. About a month and a half ago my prescription of the pill I'm on ran out, and the pharmacy didn't have any more. I live in a rural village, until the following Monday, so I avoided sex with my boyfriend, and explained I'm not wanting to have sex until I'm back on the pill. He decided to ignore this and said he will pull out. He didn't. I went and took plan B, and it clearly didn't work. Now he's saying that it's not him that hasn't been taking the pill, and he's waiting to see if I can have an abortion or not. His reasons of being angry and no support are, he doesn't want to be forced to have a kid he doesn't even want. In March my dad passed of pancreatic cancer, and it was traumatic, three years ago my dear mother passed of breast cancer, I feel like it's the wrong time to have a child as I'm still healing wounds and grieving. My boyfriend isn't taking this into consideration, he just seems to be selfish, he doesn't even care about how I'm feeling right now, which is scared and uncertain. Today I asked him why he's off, and he said he will move to Australia if he has to be lumbered with a kid. Even when I'm being sick or feeling so drained he doesn't show any sympathy, he just says, this is your own fault, I mean. Surely if he really loved me, he would at least pretend to care. I'm just feeling very sad just now sad face. He doesn't want to have a kid but he voluntarily had unprotected sex with you? It doesn't sound like this man has more than two brain cells to rub together. You really want him as a dad? The single mom life may be easier in the long run. First, verify your pregnancy. Second, get an abortion. Third, dump him. He's an abuser and you shouldn't stay with him regardless of what you choose for your pregnancy. It takes two to tango. Seriously rethink the relationship. He is talking about moving countries to avoid responsibilities. Is that the type of man you want in your life? He sexually assaulted you and now he is being abusive. My, 30F, husband, 31M, gave me an ultimatum. My husband and I have been fighting a lot lately. On Monday he put me in a headlock and it made me feel like it was time for me to leave maybe. We continued to fight to this morning where he tells me if I'm no longer his wife he won't be a father to our daughter, 5, anymore. No phone calls, no visits. I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. I'm so heartbroken for my daughter. What do I say to her if she asks where her father is? I need advice on how to proceed with telling my daughter and the consequences of not having a dad. Edit number 1. I didn't expect this many responses, so I'm sorry for not being able to reply to everyone. A question I saw a couple of times is what did I do to make him react this way? I did not cheat, nor give any indication of doing so, albeit he has accused me of it because he can't understand why I am fighting with him. His words. We were having a conversation about why we've been fighting. Our fight has been revolved around an incident that happened at Family Beach Week. He didn't want to go initially, but went anyway to make me happy. His words. I made plans with my sister-in-law to take our kids to an arcade 1.5 miles down the road because the weather at the beach sucked. He was asleep when I made these plans, roughly 9.30 a.m. When he woke up he wanted to go out to lunch instead, but I told him I made plans for the arcade first and we'd go after probably 30-40 minutes. He was upset by that. He said I slighted him and showed them preference. He put me in the headlock when I didn't leave the room as soon as he wanted me to he threw something and I said I was going to call my dad. That's when he tried to grab my phone from my hand and I wouldn't let go. He put me in a headlock at that moment to try and get my phone from my hand. 
It didn't leave bruises but my neck was sore for three days. So I could have de-escalated the fight by either leaving faster or dropping my phone so it's partially my fault as well. This is the first time he's ever put his hands on me. He usually just screams and name calls. I'm sorry for the long edit. On Monday he put me in a headlock and it made me feel like it was time for me to leave maybe. Maybe. Dot. He tells me if I'm no longer his wife he won't be a father to our daughter, five, anymore. No phone calls, no visits. Good. If you stay, how long do you think it'll be before he puts your daughter in a headlock? Get a lawyer and make him think he's winning by giving up visitation rights. You can child support garnished from him paycheck in many jurisdictions. The more he's out of your life, the better. Having no dad is 10,000 times better than having an abusive dad. And that's what your husband is an abuser. Take your child and get the hell away from him. The trash took himself out, great. Lady, are you seriously asking if you should stay with the man who is physically abusing you so that your daughter can grow up under the same roof as him? Like, do you even hear yourself? This man can literally never be a good father, simply by the fact that he is an abuser. Sure, he can treat her kindly and do cool things with her, but he will also be showing her that it is okay for a man to beat a woman. He will also be showing her that the husband does not have to respect the wife in a marriage. Your daughter will grow up to become a victim in her own relationships because you didn't have the spine to leave and show her you deserve better.